How's it going, buddies? We're working to build a community to allow for discussion, providing specifications you can relate to. So you haven't educated this on your purchases. Uh, this one's going to actually be one uh, that was loaned over by Jeff Jewell. Uh, so this is actually called the crutch. So when your edge is not doing too well, uh, then give it a crutch, fix the edge, and then it is a fixed system. Uh, so it does clamp it into place. And then you do have the two angles. So basically for each side, you're going to have one set for um, each angle. Uh, so I'm going to try and get this about a 17.5 as far as the angle for uh, the edge. Uh, and then, so we're going to use this. This is not also included with it, but uh, there's something that Jeff included. So that's the, the angle guide. Uh, so it's the angle cube. It goes for about $30 on Amazon. Uh, so you can pick that up fairly simply. And it'll be available for you if you can zero this out. There's going to be some fast forwarding to it. And so you don't need to watch through the whole thing. Uh, but right now it's about 19.25. Uh, so as you see on this one, this one is uh, one with flats on it. Uh, so that's where you're going to have the system uh, is going to be you know, fairly, you know, fairly even uh, with each other. Uh, so on um, the reason why I have the rat two out here is because that's going to be the flat grind. Uh, so uh, that's where you're going to be. Uh, you're going to have the angle to it. Uh, so that's where you're going to have to take into account. Basically, put your pry knife on uh, your flat surface, and then get the angle for it, and then you're going to have to uh, basically take half of that a uh, number, um, and then add it to uh, whatever number you have for the actual system. Uh, that way, um, if it's actually 17.5 you're looking for, uh, depending on the angle of your knife, uh, you might be at 20, which equals 17.5. Uh, so a little bit of math for that to be able to figure that one out. Uh, so this one uh, here, let's see what we're actually at. I think we're at about 19 right now. And so this one is actually an uh, edge. And I had this blade replaced uh, through Kershaw. And then uh, it's fairly bad. I mean, there's a fairly good recurve on it at the tip. Uh, so it's 19.15 right now as far as that angle. Uh, so what you're going to do, uh, so again, some of the other ones have the knurling. Uh, so that's extra $5 instead of the wing nuts. You're going to have uh, one that actually has kind of ridges on it uh, for that angle. So all you're going to do, uh, so uh, basically to get a more acute angle, uh, you're going to be uh, basically screwing this in. Uh, retightening it down and then you can uh, reset that and see kind of where your angle is at that point point. and again we're trying to get to about 17.5 um, is what I'm going to try and get to uh, for this angle so I'm at 17.75 so just very much a hair more uh, I'm going to need from that to be able to get that angle correct on it. And then now we'll try and fix that recurve at the front of the blade. And touch more. Um, so one thing also on this one, um, if you're gonna use one stone, uh, then you're probably pretty good. Uh, but if you're gonna have multiple uh, stones, uh, that's where um, this one actually will uh, cause you a little bit of headache uh, in trying to reset it. Uh, every single time um, because as you see here I mean I'm just trying to get one angle uh, and then that's where it's taking a little bit longer uh, so kind of like probably like the KME system uh, even uh, the regular uh, fixed systems that you have you kind of set that edge and then the stones work around uh, the edge that you already set or the clamp that you already set uh, this one is you now one that you're clamping the knife and then you're going to try and work uh, with the stone. Uh, so, uh, so if you have stones laying around already and you don't want to buy a full fixed system, uh, that's where uh, you can go and get uh, this type of setup and then work with the stones you already have instead of having to buy a full KME system or, or um, a Wicked Edge or anything like that. So 17.5. So instead of buying those full systems, you can use the stones that you already have. Uh, this one is a king stone. Uh, it's a 250 and a thousand. Uh, so uh, one other thing that he provided uh, with it, uh, I'm not using it currently, although it's it's amazing stone. Uh, so that's actually going to be uh, this one. 
uh, which is the Nanoa. Uh, this one is the P304. Uh, uh, there's a 400 grit. Uh, this is a 250. And the 400 that he provided, that cuts better than the 250. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to get one of those at one point. Uh, but it's just, just such a great, uh, great stone. So now we're going to see how bad this edge is. We'll get to do a little Sharpie mark on it. I put some water so that might not take too well. But we'll see how that goes as far as the system. Uh, so overall, I really like it. Uh, so it, it's one that will probably last you for your ever, ever living days uh, because it doesn't make contact uh, with uh, the stones. Uh, so uh, there's another one from Razor uh, Razor's Edge. Uh, that that one actually makes contact with the stone itself. Uh, so that's where uh, that one's not going to have a, a longevity for it. It's kind of an interesting setup, um, but it doesn't have. Uh, it is something that's going to wear, uh, which is probably good for the manufacturer uh, for the fact that you're going to have something that wears out. Uh, for the blade, but uh, so I don't know if you can see that on here, but I'll try and get a better focus. So there's a little bit at the tip there, and that doesn't make contact when the rest of it is. Uh, so that's kind of where that recurve is, uh, which is right up here uh, for that uh, the blade. So. That's what we're going to keep on working on, and then uh, I'm actually going to use the mat that he gave or loaned. So this DMT nod skid mat, mat is going to go underneath my little uh, anchor lid that I'm currently using because I'm slipping around a little bit, uh, which I don't want to do. But we're going to go and get that on here. Kind of see where we're sitting. But this is actually a pretty nice system uh, for it. Uh, there's going to be a slight learning curve for it. Uh, so uh, that is something that I have to kind of play around with to see how it was going to function. Uh, but this is going to be uh, one uh, that, again, if you already have the stones, you've already invested in those things, and then you want to do uh, basically uh, a reprofiling, uh, that's where this will probably help out. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, well, uh, it's better to do freehand sharpening. Well, yes, it is uh, better to do that because uh, it's a skill. And I feel at least uh, a lot of those skills that people learn um, are invaluable. Uh, so it's something that you should kind of learn how to do it. Uh, just like I learned how to tie a tie. Uh, I still didn't learn how to tie a bow tie. Uh, but that's something that I want to learn because it's something that's going to be lost um, over the generations. Uh, so uh, that's going to take some while. Um, but uh, we'll go through this. And then instead of fast forwarding, I'm going to go and finish this out. And then um, if I move on to the other stone, we'll kind of see where it goes from there uh, with the stone. Uh, also, you did provide uh, this one from uh, Knives Plus as far as the stroppy block uh, with the white compound. Uh, so it's a pretty good setup. Uh, so I guess before we go into that, uh, if you're this far into it, it's something that you might be interested in. Uh, so this is the email address that you could use. It is based out of Russia. So that's the email address. And then you can actually get it customized. So I like Jeff's name's right here on this side. And then also you're going to know it's yours because your name's on it. Uh, so that's something that's really nice as far as something that's offered to you. Uh, so on Instagram, uh, you're going to look for uh, Konig Konigsberg sharpening or underscore sharpening. Uh, so that's where you're going to find uh, his information. And then it goes for uh, $70 shipped uh, to you uh, for this system here. And then it's going to be 75 uh, for the one with the little knurling on the nut instead of the wing nut. Uh, so those are the difference for that. And then there's two different lengths uh, for some of the uh, rods. 
that you're gonna use. So you're gonna just have another, like a longer set. So if you can use a taller stone, uh, that's where you're gonna have that difference. Uh, Cause this one uh, was 17.5 on uh, this setup here. Uh, if I did go uh, to a, a shorter stone, uh, so let's move this one to the side. Let's move that. So if we went with the one that he provided, uh, which is a shorter stone right on that mat. And then you're going to be, see where we end at for that. So for this one, so 17.5 is what I had uh, for the other stone. And then right now it's at 21.55 uh, for this stone. So since there was a, a difference in angle height, so the taller it is, and it's going to have a different angle than if it's lower. Uh, so that's something that you have to account for. Because really, um, I wouldn't mind going from this 400 uh, straight to a stropping because it actually worked really well. So that's the things for it. Uh, so reach out to him on that for uh, Konigsberg sharpening, uh, underscore sharpening on Instagram. And then otherwise uh, reach him here uh, for the email address. And then you can actually order yours. For 70 or 75 dollars so the rods uh, are 110 millimeters and 140 millimeters uh, that you could pick that up for and then again uh, for this angle guide that you can get from amazon uh, that's going to be another 30 dollars and then stones if you're going to get stones that'll be another amount of money if you already have stones well take that off the equation because really you're just going to be picking up this that you're reprofiling so check it out, and then I'll come back with that final result uh, for this uh, blade. If I can fix that tip, and we'll see what it comes out to be. So I'm using the crutch, I was able to get this type of edge on it. Uh, so it's not perfect by any means. And then also the tip of the blade uh, right here, um, just that recurve is a little bit too hard to get out without taking off too much from the actual blade itself. Uh, so I'm going to leave that on that side, but I was able to get a pretty nice uh, polish on it. Um, but yeah, uh, for the crutch, uh, if you want to check it out, uh, it is again uh, the site or this email address. So you can email there if you want to get it. Otherwise, that is a, is a Koenig Konigsberg underscore sharpening on Instagram. So that's 70 or $75 and that is to your door. Uh, so check it out if you want to pick that up. Uh, otherwise, there's other sharpeners out there, but works pretty well. And then also, again, if you have the stones uh, that already take off some of the, the cost uh, that's associated with some of the sharpening systems. So for buy, bar or avoid, uh, it would be a buy as long as you have stones. Otherwise, you might want to invest in a different system. But overall, I like it.